Every year, on April 19th, we celebrate Dutch American Friendship Day. But what makes April 19th so special? That's when the States General in The Hague accepted John Adams as the first ambassador from the United States of America to the Dutch Republic. But let's back up a bit to the dawn of a new republic in North America and the sunset of another in Europe. The year is 1782. The Netherlands as we know it today, the nation that has more bikes than people, that manages water like no other, and whose DJs entertain the world does not yet exist. But its predecessor, the Dutch Republic, is a leading power in Europe. And Amsterdam is the center of the financial world. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, the United States had just won its independence from Great Britain. The American colonies had united to defeat the world's greatest military. Now they had to figure out how to govern their new nation. Money was just one of the many challenges facing the Founding Fathers, so John Adams, a member of the Continental Congress who later became America's second president, turned to the Dutch Republic. On April 19, 1782, the States General accepted John Adams as the ambassador of the United States of America to the Dutch Republic. The new ambassador, America's first ever, quickly started negotiating for money the United States desperately needed. Within a month, Ambassador Adams came to terms with three Amsterdam bankers for the United States to borrow 5 million guilders, an amount of money that today would have the economic impact of $150 billion. A few months later, on October 8, 1782, John Adams signed the first Treaty of Amity and Commerce between our two countries. This treaty was an important step for the United States to take its place in the world as a sovereign nation. The treaty strengthened the economic ties that first took root between our two nations in the 17th century. In 1982, President Ronald Reagan formally designated April 19th as Dutch American Friendship Day, explaining that our relationship is the United States' longest, unbroken, peaceful relationship with any foreign country. 